Hey, I'm Melanie Traver, and I have a finished quilt top to show you. So this one I actually really stayed on top of. So done, done, done. Each of the steps, I worked it through, not really much gaps. All right, so I'm going to be showing you my latest a Dresden quilt, and this is a free pattern in my resource library. I'm going to put the little link and stuff where you can go to to get the pattern right below this video. I thought I'd show you the quilt and then give you those close-ups. All right. Here we are. I'm going to make sure I get it turned the right way. All right, so this is the pattern. The pattern is all dressed in plates on top of a very scrappy background, uh, four patch background blocks, and then, you know, your three and a half inch dressed blades. Uh, I made this one with my Hope and Feathers fabric line on the dressed in plates. And then I've got just random low volumes in my background. The center of each plate is from my fabric line Dresden Flower Centers. So those centers were designed especially for uh, Dresden plates so that you could have a flower instead of a circle. All right, so front, back. Uh, the fabrics used on this bag are also from Hope and Feathers fabric line, except for this one strip. And I'll tell you what I did. I made my backing and then I started basting it and realized that I, that it was too short. I had made it the wrong size. <laughs> so I added this strip uh, to compensate. So let me go show you those uh, close ups. Right. So here's the quilt. And again, this is Hope and Feathers fabric line. Dresden Flower Centers for the center. And the background is all my fabric collections, but just random low volumes from, a, from several different lines. So this is a free pattern on my uh, website. It's been a free pattern for, you know, quite some time, but it recently got a little bit of an update in prep, in preparation for the quilt along. So if this is a quilt that you might like to make, there's video demos for every step of making this quilt top that you could, you know, get a little help. Dresden's always appear difficult but they're not very difficult they're more time consuming than anything else also um, i did the quilting on this quilt myself for a separate class uh, over at my quilt class website so if you like the quilting every dresden plate is quilted a little differently or there's a couple of duplicates but there's 15 different quilting patterns for the dresden plates and that is all part of my 15 ways to quilt a Dresden plate class. So in that class, you get all the demos for the quilting on the Dresden plates. And then you also get the vine uh, in the, that you're seeing in the background. Just a bit more. So much fun. I just love Dresden plates quilts. I, I love Dresden plates. I've probably made Dresden plates more than any other uh, quilt <laughs> pattern I've ever worked on. For the binding, I use the fabric Beginnings in Orchid Smoke. Um, it's another fabric design of mine. It has little mushrooms on it, but you can't really see them. Uh, but the reason I chose it is because I just wanted to use this very, very pale lavender. I thought it went well with the Hope and Feathers line. I used the Chunky uh, hand binding method. Um, Pretty much using this on every quilt these days <laughs> and i think it took me two nights and i think i did two to three hours uh each night so this is the 60 by 72 inch quilt size and yeah it, I've, I've got warm and natural batting in it so that is what's creating that really really nice drape and um i think that's all that was a really, really fun quilt to make. Um, Dresden's take a really long time. I mean, they are time consuming. I spent all winter on this quilt and then all spring quilting it up. So it was a very long endeavor, but you know, I just really, really love having those quilts. And it's just so pretty and I love how pink it is. And I just love everything about this quilt. I mean, really excited to have it. All right, so links to everything, the pattern, the quilting class that is over on the quilt class website and all the links to the fabric are right below this video. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.